Animal lovers in the Chippewa Falls area will have a lot to look forward to at Irvine Park in the next couple of years. Richard Hebert, the director of Irvine Park, said that he has some big plans for remodeling. Nothing has been decided yet, but some proposed changes include improving the small mammal building, adding storage space, and building an aviary building, new welcome center, or another building for new animals. Hebert said ideally there would be three new buildings, but there is some debate about which attractions to improve. Some people feel it should be the small mammal building. Some people feel it should be the welcome artifact center. Um, I'm, my personal opinion, I'm leaning towards making getting this done first, getting this new small mammal building done first. They are still in the planning stages and are currently meeting with building firms to get estimates. Hebert said that until they start designing, they won't know exactly how much the improvements and additions will cost, but the cost of designing three buildings would be about $140,000. Our first step, what, after we hire this firm, what, after we've decided what firm to hire, is we need to uh, evaluate the structural integrity of these, of these existing buildings. Okay? This small mammal building, we, we need to evaluate this to see if we can salvage any part of the building or if it has to be completely um, demolished. Hebert said he has started planning now because designing and constructing the buildings will be such a long process. The longer we wait, uh, the, lo you know, the longer it's going to take. So I'm hoping that we can get, in a couple of years, we can start the uh, construction of a new small mammal building. Anne-Marie Dirch, a resident of Chippewa Falls, likes how spacious the park is now and worries about there being too many additions. I hope that they never take away, you know, they keep putting in more of these big rocks and roadways and um, parking areas. I hope they don't just keep encroaching on the natural beauty of the park. Zebras and emus have already been added to the park this year, but Hebert does not know what other new animals might be added with the remodel. His current focus is which buildings they can afford. I'm hoping that we can start construction 2014.